Right, another change of plan, I'm sorry. I'm going to make a clamp that I can bolt on here. So we've got that piece of pipe in the vise and I'm going to cut it along here and we're going to use this bit. So we're going to cut this off and then we're going to cut a hole down, cut a line down the middle and then I'm going to remove one inch so it has room to tighten. That's the plan. Wish me luck. This should make a loud pop when I cut all the way through. Sometimes it can be quite scary, for me anyway. You might not be able to hear it with the grinder being on. I didn't even measure how straight that line was, but it looks okay. Now I'm just gonna do the same again. I'm going to take off a bit less because we can always uh, take more off it's harder to add it on. So I'm going to cut enough of this bar to fit inside. Those are two bits. I don't know how exactly they're going to fit. But what they need is they need to be matched up and have three holes drilled through. So I just cut the first three holes in the uh, bench drill, which went very well. That's why I got it not perfectly level, but they don't have to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp them up which one's which. So then we know exactly which ones have got to go on the tower and whether they're top or bottom. Sweet. That's looking fairly cushy from where I'm standing. After a lot of work with the step drill. So the whole point of doing that was that we can take an M12 bolt we've got a bit of room for manoeuvre yeah that was the idea and the point of welding them together was so the holes are in exactly the same place so this is how this is going to go basically i've got to try and get this bit clamped down and then stop this bit from moving as usual won't win any beauty competitions but won't be going off for the next 5,000 years either. Peace. Right, I'm just going to try and get a tack on either end. Do, do, do. Where is the right? Shit, table's on fire again. <clears throat> Whoa, it's still on fire. Goodbye, go away, go away, go away. Thank you. Whew, that is some serious heat, my friends. That is some serious heat. So, so I've got it set up for the second world. Lovely jubbly! Certainly been a messy one. Right. Certainly been a messy one. I'm blind! Oh shit. Get your head together, lad. Get your head together. Oh, those bolts are popping off. Sweet! In the hisser, you ready? Good damn. Right, so now the final, the final thingy is here. So we need another, we need two more M12 bolts, nuts. Right, this is the test. Have I just wasted hours and hours of my time? 
Sorry, give me a second, I'm just adjusting the device. Will it go over? Yes. And this is how it looks from the other angle. Sweet. So, I'm going to try and save a bit of time by using large bolts as the eyelets, and this is going to be the top side, so this bolt's kind of over that way to give more clearance to the guide wire, which will be coming out of here. So all I want to do is make sure I've got enough clearance to get this socket on to tighten up and loosen the bolts. And I'm going with that big one for the rear and the two smaller ones for the sides. It's obviously a bit manky, so I need to clean it up. So yeah, that went on okay. Joy good. So now I just have to give it a bit of heat and some thinners, and it's finally done. It took forever. Uh, but it's your typical Mad Max construction from me. So when you see it on the tower, you realize why I made it, and it will save me a lot of time in the future. And it's all made out of scrap doo-doo, apart from the M12 bolts, which are relatively new. Sweet! So this is the device that I spent ages making yesterday. And originally it was just meant to attach all the guide ropes to, but what I've realized is that I can use it to shore up these two pieces, where the top of the tower and the extension pipe for the top of the tower meet. So, yeah, I've just got to do these top bolts up. And I can go around doing all these so they're touching the pipe. Undo them if I have to to try and get more clearance. Now, final, just a little tighten of these beasts. 